guys, I'm Marie. I am head of design here at Barbell Brigade Design Labs. What does that job entail? It entails basically the biggest responsibility that you can have regarding pushing through all the concepts all the way through completion of every single product. Aside from the meetings that we have, um, I'm always in communication with all of the vendors, uh, whether domestic or import. It involves always following an up, always babysitting, always making sure that everybody's hitting certain target dates that we need the product to be completed by. So the process of development, uh, we have two levels, uh, which we call printables and then also cut and sew. And so each one entails different timelines that both have to adhere to certain target dates we have to hit. But as they start, you know, tech packs need to be built. All that needs to be checked. There's a lot of back and forth questions with the vendors. Um, actually, there's a lot of questions with the vendors when it comes to receiving our tech packs that actually Mark generates, who is our graphic designer. Um, once a concept is approved by BART, um, we immediately go into the development phase and once tech packs are approved and sent over, then all orders have to be issued, all blanks have to be ordered, and then also fabric, if we're doing cut and sew, has to be ordered and basically measured, cut, sewn, labels, you know, the whole nine yards. So it's a very, very involved process. So would you say your job is fun? It's fun to a point, but then again, fun is like 10% of it. The rest of it needs to be a lot of detail-oriented duties, which kind of you guys don't see in the back end because it's you guys get to enjoy like the end result of it but then just getting there is like a painful process sometimes because not everything goes right if i were to give one piece of advice um, for anybody trying to get into this business just know the difference between a graphic designer and a actual product designer depending also what industry you, you're you know trying to target Graphic designers primarily focus on the art and the decoration of what goes onto a blank, whereas a product designer slash apparel designer, they focus on the whole thing, the whole, you know, t-shirt, you know, for an example, from A to Z. From placement of it to measuring it out to making sure, you know, everything is perfect artwork-wise and just making sure it's product ready for the industry. Part of the fun part of this process is getting um, the final product and kind of like, if you will, unwrapping the whole thing and just making sure that whatever was sent out in the beginning comes back to you the way that a consumer would, you know, receive it. Yay, look at that. Put it on. I've never seen anybody wear it yet. Looks good. Look in the mirror. Where's the mirror? It's good. It is. Some of the things I check for is basically, you know, if the screen is correct, you know, if the screen looks solid, you know, based on what the tech pack shows instruction wise. And just overall making sure that visually it's, you know, nothing's crooked or not, the placement's, you know, acceptable within like a 90% radius and that the consumer's gonna be happy in the end. Hi, my name's Stanley Merklin. I'm the co-chair of Barbell Brigade. I'm also a competitive powerlifter and a novice strongman. Um, and I've been training for about 10 years now, coaching for about five years. So I train people in person. I uh, also train a good amount of members here online or remotely. So I program for a good amount of people here as well. And then I would say the biggest thing that I do outside of that as well is I'm just here to be a resource for people in the gym, you know, if they need advice on technique, advice on programming, uh, just they want to know how their, t how, their, how their lifts look, you know, uh, if they have questions about like, you know, what certain bars are for, what certain equipment's for. So I'm just here to be a resource for anyone who comes to the gym uh, with any questions or anyone who wants to learn more about training. So you're like the encyclopedia of fitness at Barber Brigade? I would, I would say, yeah. yeah. It seems to be. It seems to be that way, to be honest, yeah. We used to offer like uh, group classes here, like powerlifting classes, uh, like general fitness, like HIT conditioning type classes. 
but for the past year I've been helping Barbell uh, build out the train department so we're going in a different direction so what we're gonna be doing going forward is we're trying to get a group of coaches and who all specialize in different things you know like Olympic lifting strongman powerlifting general fitness body composition even maybe a nutritionist and uh, some sort of like uh, physical therapist type person to work together as a team. So when you come here and you're like, yo, I wanna go from, I've never lifted a barbell to squatting 400 pounds, you have all the resources you need in one place to achieve that goal. So in terms of like what we offer, we're gonna be offering one-on-one -on -one coaching. Uh, there'll be small group coaching, like two or three people per group. And then of course, uh, there's also online coaching with the subsequent coaches we'll have here, but then we're also gonna be rolling out some uh, programs through Barbell Brigade, like through the gym, uh, to different programs like power building, power lifting, uh, like fat loss programs, stuff like that. When I meet with one-on-one -on -one clients, the first thing I like to do is go through some sort of assessment to see how they move, because how they move and what they can and cannot do is really gonna dictate how you train someone. Uh, so I don't train any two people the same, you know? Some people, like, they sh can't get under a squat bar, they can't, like, bring the bar down to their chest, you know, we'll work around that um, at the beginning. And then I work with a lot of people, especially in person, who are interested in getting into powerlifting, who are just starting and doing their first meet. So one thing that I like to do with those people is I like to make sure that they're obviously their technique is very very sound they understand like the fundamentals of movement uh, they understand breathing and bracing and then in terms of like actually going to the meet I like to make sure people understand like commands uh, they understand how the meets gonna run in terms of warm-ups in terms of making jumps just pretty much all-inclusive like making sure people who have never done a meet when they show up to the meet they're 100% feel like qualified and comfortable going to the meet so with the back at the moment the big major plan is to build this out so that the outside looks like the inside pretty much much. Uh, so we want it to be just as much of an outside training facility as we do on the inside. So the main next plan would be to finish matting out this whole area here um, and then getting an overhead canopy to overshade this half of the back right now. And then uh, after that we're going to uh, spray paint out the basketball court. So have a half court basketball court out here which would be really really cool. Um, and then on the fence that blocks our side from next door we're going to have a uh, a privacy screen and have like Barbell Brigade written out there too so there's branding all across the back just as much as it is in the front too so those are immediate plans the next goal would be to get the next door area and then that way we'll have this whole area as our back and have things like a sprinting run that goes right down our driveway um, a full strength a strongman area a full powerlifting area back uh, bodybuilding area calisthenics area boxing area and then the basketball court in the middle which would be really really sick so that's the plan that's the ultimate goal but right now the smallest step is to at least build out this as a strength area with strongman and a squat rack and squat cage to be able to do squat bench and deadlift and then build out the basketball court and at least have a half court for people to play on so we worked really really hard on getting the inside of the gym as dope as it can be um, with as much equipment that we can fit in there as we can and good equipment and we're constantly trying to improve that constantly getting new equipment replacing stuff that's broken as best as we can and as fast as we can but in the meantime we wanted to build out this back area and optimize the space that we have it out here and the first thing that we had to do was get rid of staff parking um, which meant that you know now the staff have to find parking on the street but it gives the members an opportunity to train outside it's very hot in LA at the moment so it's hard to train outside um, but people still do and they enjoy it and I think that the main thing with that is that now there is a space that when the gym does get full there's another opportunity for people to come outside and do some work so as we do begin to grow we are trying to make sure that we have enough space for our members and as much space as we possibly can for them and just continue to grow with our space and optimize the space that we have for the members as we grow with the members